An article in a 1965 edition of Eagle, a British comic book, predicts the arrival of the internet with stunning accuracy, including services similar to Skype, Netflix, Kindle and Google, years before the very first rudimentary ARPANET links were even established and decades before the first incarnation of the World Wide Web became available to the general public. It's an article entitled Computers for Everyone. This is from 1965 and it predicted, quote, world knowledge at your fingertips as early as the 1990s. And here it is. I'll put a link to this in the description so you can read the article in full. But it's from the Eagle Annual, which I gave as a gift to my dad for Christmas. He's 61, so he grew up reading this when he was a child. And it's from 1965, this article, Computers for Everyone. And it states, quote, How would you like to be able to solve any mathematical problem in a fraction of a second, summon any page of any book or newspaper instantly before your eyes, have all the factual information known to man at your own fingertips, all without leaving your living room. This fantastic dream of scientific achievement may come true by the 1990s if a plan now being worked on by top scientists in this country and the USA is successful. So bear in mind that ARPANET, which was the first rudimentary internet communication system, which of course arose out of the US military, was not even conceived until the early 1960s. And the first ARPANET link, the first official link between the University of California and the Stanford Research Institute, was not established until October 1969. So those are the very first rudimentary communication links between two locations. This article, four years before, is not only predicting that, but it's predicting a whole host more. Continuing from the article, your TV set, your telephone, your electricity and gas meters and your typewriter, tape recorder and record player, all these things will be as out of date as the gas lamp is today, for the computer will control all power supplies to your house. What does that remind you of, of course? That's the Internet of Things. That's the smart home, which is only just being introduced into our lives today. 50 years ago, this was predicting it. 50 years ago. I mean, I showed this to other people, showed it to my brother. He didn't think it was a big deal. I think it's a big deal. 50 years ago, before they even established the first ARPANET connections, they're talking about the smart home, how everything's going to be run through the internet before the internet even existed. Three decades before it even became commercially available. Four decades before we even heard of things like Netflix or Skype. It also goes on to predict the... Um, installation of a complex nationwide network of connections between the computers and the fiber optic network which could quote carry thousands of times more information than a cable at close to the speed of light so in summary this article from 1965 before the internet even existed in its most basic arcane form from the US military predicted seven fundamental aspects of the internet World knowledge at your fingertips, the search engine, Google. Summon any page of any book or newspaper instantly before your eyes. Of course, we would know that today. It's Kindle. The computer will control all power supplies to your house. That's a smart home, the Internet of Things. Video phone, that's Skype as we would know it today. Multi-channel TV signal. Of course, many people get their television through the Internet nowadays. And we would know that as Netflix. Computers, the Internet to replace tape recorder and record player. We would know that as Spotify and iTunes and a network to operate at the speed of light, which, of course, the fiber optic network actually operates faster than speed of light. So all of these things were predicted in an obscure British children's comic book 50 years ago, 1965, just under 50 years ago, four years before the most rudimentary internet communication systems were even established between two locations, predicted all those things three decades before we even got the internet commercially in the 1990s, as it also predicted, and four decades before we'd, we'd even heard of things like Skype or Netflix. I just thought that was weird and that was interesting, caught my eye, so I thought I'd share it with you today. Go in the description, you can read the actual full article uh, from a screenshot that I've included Check us out on Twitter at twitter.com slash prisonplanet. This is Paul Joseph Watson reporting for Infowars.com.